Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm here today with a guest design team project share for uh, Erica who is uh, Scrap Diva 29 and her store is Scrap Diva De Designs. <laughs> so um, I just want to share with you guys some projects that I've been working on. Um, so these are the dies that I use today. I use the um, Berry uh, Strawberry Sentiments um, die set. Um, I also use the Strawberry Shaker die set, which is so adorable. I also use uh, these cute little water bottles, which make shakers. And the last thing that I use, this was not a part of my design team project or um, package, but I did use the um, the large strawberry mini book uh, album, uh, and I mix it with another die. So um, I'll show you guys what I did. And by the way, I just found out because this wasn't a part of my design team package, so I wasn't really paying attention. But I think it's out of stock. But I do know uh, that she's ordering more. So uh, definitely, if you are interested in picking this up, um, it looks like uh, she has some more coming. So. Um, you can pick that up when it comes back in stock. So let me go ahead and show you guys the projects that I've been working on. Um, so the first one that I did was this super cute banner piece. Dying. Just so cute. I just love ants. <laughs> I don't know why. And the ones with the big eyes is killing me. <laughs> so I used this um, banner set. This one I did uh, get from KS Craft, but um, the strawberries is what I use for uh, Erica's store, um, which is uh, the shaker, but you can do them without the shaker and it does cut out the little holes. Um, so it's really super cute. Oops, I have a little piece of foam stuck to it. Um, and so you could do it either way, this way or the shaker way. So for this one, because I, I uh, chose this um, cut file from out of my Cricut that makes this cute little picnic basket. So I thought I would use them as flat strawberries. So there's like four back there. And then I have the ant holding the other one. Um, everything is up on some foam tape. And then I use these super cute word dies. I love them. And I love that they're like nice uh, and smaller and thinner because sometimes they're so big it's like hard to figure out where to put them on your project but these are a perfect size you can fit them on almost anything that you make so I love that um, and then like I said everything is up on uh, some foam tape um, this ant I did get this this is a, a Cricut file um, I did supersize it <laughs> it's not really supposed to be that big but I wanted to fill up the banner so that it looks super fun um, I added this cute little bow up there with a little bling um, I cut this from I don't normally use buttons but I know a few girls that do but I always see um, Jen, who is a strawberry cream 39, she's always using cute buttons. So I was like, I'm going to throw some buttons on here. <laughs> so I did just add just a couple of buttons. And then um, I just love how this came out. And I used this yellow background so that it would really make this pop. Um, the last thing that I did was I did go ahead and hang this cute little um, dangle. And I just used some of those strawberry clay pieces, added a button that I got from Bona and it also has like a little strawberry charm on a white um you know what these are called I can't ball chain type of deal so that's the finished product and I love how it came out and I love those big old eyeballs <laughs> so that's the first project that I did let me see if I can prop that up I don't know um here's the second one um this is the larger um, the one I'm going to show you, I use the larger of the two water bottles. So there's a smaller one and a larger one. I use the larger one. So I made this cute little, um, water bottle. Um, I use some of the, some Maggie Holmes paper on this. Um, I just love that collection. It's so beautiful. Um, and this panda, I did get this panda cut from Etsy. Um, I purchased it as a cut file and I just moved it into my Cricut and added it on there. Um, and I did it in this pale pink, um, just kind of 
match up with the little cute face on the panda. Um, and then I did a gold um, top for the water bottle. And then I added lots of um, like green and pink and gold and little gold beads in there uh, for my shaker. So I try to fill it up so it looks nice and chunky in there. But I love how it came out. And I put this cute little bow um, that I had in my stash. And then I put this little flat back pearl on there. But so super cute. Sometimes when I do these, I think it's going to be a million cuts. But it was actually only four cuts. So the easier, the better. And the die was super easy to put together um, and get some sequins in there. I did use a bit of um, two millimeter. It's either two or three millimeter um, foam that I purchased online to give it that um, so I can use it for the shaker but I love how it came out and it's a good size so it's like the size of my palm so I think this one measures um, it's just it's about four and a quarter and the other one's uh, slightly smaller but definitely you can uh, make something cute with these little water bottles I think that's a cute idea so that's the second project that I did and then here is what I made. I did not do the album. I just wanted to make a huge shaker. <laughs> but definitely you can uh, make that adorable um, album, which I will at some point. But this time I just decided to do a little shaker. Now what I did, because that doesn't really make a shaker. So what I did was I cut out my pieces. And then, oops, sorry guys. And I just traced a portion of the strawberry in the middle of it. So kind of, because I used, hold on, let me get a piece that I used. And I'm sorry, I keep shaking the camera. My bad. So I used this piece for cutting it out. And then basically when it was a whole piece of paper, I just, um, I just traced, I just freehanded it. And then I just cut it out. Um, after I traced it onto the paper, that's where I stuck my hole so that I could trace around it, but I'm going to keep this. So just in case I wanted to do that again, I already have a little, um, piece that I can use for tracing. And then I just did the same thing. I cut the foam out with this as well. And then I traced and cut, but with the foam, after I cut it, I went back around and added like another, like two millimeters off. Cause I don't like the, the white part of the foam to show. And for some reason, when you put it through your die cutting machine, um, it kind of flattens it. So I did go back and do like an extra two millimeters around where, where I cut so that it would be a perfect fit. Um, now this one was a part of my design team project, the little small pink strawberries. It's like the ones over there. So I just kind of tucked that behind this cute little hippo that I found on Etsy. Uh, again, I downloaded that into my Cricut and cut that out. I added this um, sentiment down here from that um, set of sentiments that I just showed you guys. And then I just, of course, put some fun like strawberry and um, red and green sequins in there um, to fill that up. So I wanted to uh, do a good amount of sequins in there because this is a, a big strawberry. And then um, this paper, both the dark and the red, it's just the opposite. Um, this is doodlebug paper. And then this is some recollection paper that I use. And then I did the bow out of the same uh, little doodlebug um, paper that you see on the shaker itself so that was super fun to put these uh together and again if you are looking for this um i think they are um on their way back to her store so hopefully she'll be getting them soon because i'm sure tons of people want to buy it and i did foam here and i also i put some foam under the little um top of the strawberry as well so it's nice and chunky and dimensional and I don't know if I'll put it on I'll have to put it on a, a bigger project maybe like a bag or something but I absolutely love how it came out so thank you guys so much for stopping by to take a look at my projects I have plenty more to do so um, you'll see those over the next uh, coming days 
Um, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And of course, I'll link her information in the description box. And don't forget to use my coupon code, which is NAT10, to save $10 off of your purchase. And don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, which is sassyblingyme31. And you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you guys all very soon. Bye.